Okay, so far we've had good weather, but it won't always be like that. Depending on where you live, you may experience a variety of weather and road conditions. Let's head out of this parking lot and I'll share some tips on what to do when you experience different weather conditions. Probably the most common weather you'll run into is rain. Everything from a light rain to a heavy downpour. All right, so the first thing you wanna do when it starts to rain is put on your wipers. But you'll also wanna turn on your headlights for better visibility, even if it's still daylight. Like a lot of new cars, this one has daytime running lights and auto sensing wipers, so they'll come on automatically. If your own car doesn't, you'll have to turn them on yourself as soon as you see it start to rain. Rain not only makes it harder to see, but also affects the traction of your tires. This means you won't be able to stop right, or make turns as quickly. When it rains, slow down and give yourself a little space around your vehicle. Even after it stops raining, there's still water on the road, sometimes a lot, which means you can still hydroplane. Hydroplaning is when water gets under your tires and actually lifts your vehicle off the road. Your tires are no longer touching the ground, so you can't steer at all, which, trust me, is a bad thing. If you find yourself hydroplaning, don't panic and don't hit the brakes. Simply ease off the accelerator and keep your car pointed in a safe direction. As you start to slow, the car will return to the road surface and you'll regain control. The lesson is, if the road is wet, slow down. The faster you go, the more likely you'll hydroplane. Another common weather hazard is fog. Fog can severely limit your visibility or when it's really foggy, can completely blind you. As soon as you see fog, turn on your headlights. This will not only help you see, but will also help others see you. Many cars come with fog lights, which you should also turn on. So what about your high beams? It seems like they would light up the road even more. But strangely enough, the opposite is true. High beams reflect off of the fog and actually make it more difficult to see. Another trick is to follow the white lines on the side of the road, as well as the lights of the vehicle ahead to help guide you. Keep an eye out for brake lights, because sometimes drivers panic when they can't see and stop abruptly. Obviously, snow and ice are very slippery. You'll have to be careful when braking, but also when accelerating. Do either of those too fast and you can find yourself off the road. Slow down well before any corners. Better to hit the brakes while you're still traveling straight than when you're in a turn. If you do find yourself in a skid, keep the wheel pointed in the direction you want to go and stay off the accelerator. If you have ABS brakes, it's okay to use them, but if you don't, Brake gently enough to avoid skidding. So anytime the temperature reaches near freezing, there's the potential for black ice. What makes it so dangerous is black ice is practically invisible as it takes on the color of the road surface. If you can't see it, you at least have to anticipate it. Black ice is more common on bridges, highway underpasses, or shaded areas. If the surface of the road was wet before the temperature dropped below freezing, then there's a good chance there's black ice.
across here onto the dirt road. Like snow and rain, dirt and loose gravel can diminish the traction of your tires. This will make it more difficult to maintain control of your vehicle and will increase the chances that your vehicle could skid off the road. If your vehicle happens to have four-wheel drive, it will help, but it can't fully make up for the lack of traction. Because your tires don't have the same grip as they do on the pavement, it will take longer to stop. So you'll need to drive slower and avoid harsh braking or acceleration. You want to stay near the center of the road, as loose gravel tends to gather on the edges. If you're following another vehicle, stay back. On dirt roads, other vehicles will kick up dust that may impair your vision, or rocks that can damage your windshield. Continue practicing the stop here and shut down your car. As you can see, there's a wide range of weather and road conditions. What most of them have in common is reduced visibility and reduced traction. Your goal is to maintain control of your vehicle at all times by slowing down to an appropriate speed and avoid making any aggressive moves.